Hi, I'm Robert Schofling, the Market and Sales Director for the Boeing Maritime Surveillance Aircraft. The idea for the Maritime Surveillance Aircraft actually came out of the P-8 division, where we produced the P-8A Poseidon uh, for the U.S. Navy and the P-8I Albatross for the Indian Navy. The, the P-8 is a phenomenal aircraft, as you can see in the background, uh, doing all sorts of maritime domain awareness missions, including anti-submarine warfare, uh, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, uh, and it carries a variety of weaponry. We approach the MSA problem is that there's a larger market underneath the P-8 where there's a big need for intelligence surveillance reconnaissance aircraft that are equally as adept doing maritime domain awareness and overland awareness. So starting with the P-8, we took its world-class mission systems and we ported it onto a supersized business jet, which is the Challenger 604 behind us. Uh, we built a fully operational demonstrator uh, that consists of five key sensors that we believe are integral to doing either overland surveillance or maritime surveillance. It consists of an AESA radar, multi-mode, uh, that can do all the overland imaging, all the overwater imaging, uh, oil slick detection, uh, moving target indicators. Uh, it, then we coupled it with a blur EOIR camera that does both infrared and wide and narrow field of vision. We've added a communications intelligence system uh, built by Argon ST, a derivative of a similar system that's in use today with the U.S. Navy. We've got an electronic surveillance measures on the airplane uh, for detecting other radars and geolocating them. And finally, we've got an AIS uh, sensor on there to track uh, maritime targets. We believe that this combination of sensors is really unique for this size of platform because of the capability, both overt and covert, that they bring to many, many of the militaries around the world. So where the MSA brings you many of the same capabilities as the P-8 does, it's not weaponized and it doesn't do ASW. Now weaponization and ASW are probably some of the most uh, severe weapons requirements and mission requirements uh, that you can have. Um, and it's a very high-end requirement. So with the MSA, we, we didn't bring those two requirements, but all the other mission sensors coupled with the world-class P-8 mission systems and our ability to get information off the airplane, either through SATCOM or through a direct uh, line of sight, high bandwidth data link, we believe it's going to be very attractive for many of the countries here, both in the Asia Pacific um, and in the Middle East. And we bring this capability to those countries at a very cost-effective uh, price point in terms of acquisition of the airplane, uh, operation of the airplane, and maintenance of the airplane. The airplane we've picked for MSA is this Challenger uh, 604, really the 600 series airplanes. We picked that airplane because it's in use by other militaries today. It's got the right amount of payload, endurance, uh, power and cooling to run the sensors. So the airplane as is configured today has an approximately uh, 1,000 mile round trip range to do a mission while still giving you two hours on station. It can fly up to 41,000 feet, but for the maritime mission, it's equally as adept at flying down as low as 200 feet. So although this mission set and these sensors are on the Challenger aircraft, we've designed the entire system to be very portable to other types of aircraft, whether they're existing in the militaries around today or whether a military has a specific type of airplane they'd like to put this on. So we believe that the market for the MSA over the next 10 years is over 100 airplanes, over a $10 billion market. Now it's a very crowded market space. There's a lot of competitors in there, but 
We feel that bringing the same mission system that's in use today by the U.S. Navy, or excuse me, a derivative system that's in use today by the U.S. Navy and in use today by the Indian Navy brings tremendous advantages to customers that want to procure and operate this type of airplane. The, the mission system has been fully tested. Uh, the U.S. government's invested over a billion dollars into it, and we've taken all this NRE that's already been uh, spent on the demonstrator airplane, and we bring that to customers today. So the customers don't have to respend the non-recurring engineering that we've built the demonstrator. Those costs are sunk, and we pass on the to the customers this very capable platform at a very attractive price point.